Well, already another year has gone by. No, 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 no. Well, no wonder. Well, here we are again. That year has gone by fast. And in that year, I've created another list of gift ideas. So here's 11, 11. And if you want any of them, I'll have them linked in the description under the video. Number 11. This is the Philips Norelco Multi Groom 3000. I bought this two months ago and I've been able to give it a good road test. And I'll tell you right off the bat, this is a great little trimmer. The battery in this thing lasts forever. And what I mean by that is, it's running on the same charge as when I took it out of the box two months ago. I still haven't had to recharge it. And I use it about once every two or three days to trim up my beard, my mustache and clean up my neck. It's nice and lightweight. The power button is easy to reach and it's nice and quiet. The blade that it comes with will never dull or rust. And another great feature is that they self sharpen. It comes with four beard guards. This one's for stubble at one millimeter. And it also comes with three others, short, medium and long. They're easy to snap in and take off. It also comes with three hair guard attachments, short, medium and long. It also comes with a nose and ear trimmer. It also has this small trimmer for precision lines. And another good feature is that none of these attachments ever need oil. They're really easy to swap out. Just grab it at the front and pull down. And then just put the back heel in first and push down at the front. It comes with a charger and the cord is three feet long. Has a little brush and a cloth carrying case. Number 10. This is my new JBL Flip 6 wireless Bluetooth speaker. I've had it for about six weeks now and this little thing is great. The one I bought is like an army green color. The outside has this nylon type mesh on the outside which is super strong. And the one thing I love about it is that it has a 12 hour runtime. Or you can leave it plugged into the charger all the time and run it that way. All of the controls are easy to see and are easily accessible on the top. It has two woofer speakers on the ends. It also has tweeters built in along the front. And a great feature about this speaker is that you can stand it up vertically or you can lay it down horizontally. On the back it has a USB-C charge port, a state of charge indicator, and a Bluetooth and power button. The silicone rubber parts on the end make it really durable and can take lots of abuse. It comes with a 4 foot charge cable. It can be dropped in the water up to a meter deep for up to 30 minutes without damage. Number 9. I just bought this in an EU power pack a few weeks ago and this thing is great. The outside is coated in a matte black rubbery finish. This power bank is one of the thinnest out there. It's pretty well the exact size of my iPhone 13 mini. It comes with two regular USB ports and one USB-C port. It has an easy to use power button on the side and it has this cool dog paw on it that tells you the state of charge. If the bottom part is lit up it's 20% charged. 40% charge, 60% charge, 80% charge, and 100% charge. It makes it super easy to check with a glance. It also has a built-in flashlight for when you're camping or in your car. Just double click the power button. Comes with a carrying case. Has a nice USB to USB-C charging cable. To charge it, you just plug it into any phone charger. This USB-C port is used to charge this device and you can also power things from it. And with many things going to USB-C, this is a really good option. It'll power itself up automatically just by plugging it in and then plug in your phone. Depending on which phone you have, it'll charge most phones up just a bit more than three times before it needs recharged. Number 8. Pickleball is one of the fastest growing sports in North America. I've had this paddle now for about three months and it's great. The grip is nice and firm and it has light cushioning to it. It's nicely finished and it has the Selkirk logo on the bottom and a nice flare out on the handle. The edging around the outside is plastic and it has this very light rubbery feel to it. It does a really good job of helping to protect it. It's a total of three quarters of an inch thick. Its total height is just under 15 and three quarters of an inch and a total width of eight inches. The grip length is four and a half inches. It's very lightweight. I really like its lightly textured surface. It seems to help to diffuse a spinning ball that you're receiving and it really helps to generate spin at a ball you're returning. There's quite a difference between my old paddle and the S2. I definitely have more control and it feels so much better. And with the advanced core that they're made from, they even sound quieter instead of having that popping noise that pickleball rackets usually make. So if you're starting out and you want to get a good racket right from the get-go, or if you want to upgrade to something better, this Selkirk S2, in my opinion, is a great choice. Number 7. This is one of the most unusual fans I've ever had and it is absolutely fantastic. It will articulate in every possible direction and more. It comes with a very light and easy to use remote. The battery is very easy to replace. The controls are simple and easy to understand. 
This first one here is a timer button. You can set it to stay on for an hour and then shut off automatically, or you can set it for two hours or four hours. The fan has five speeds. This button here is one of the really cool features of this fan. When you use it, it goes into this natural rhythm, just like wind coming through your window. The speed of the fan will slowly ramp up and then it'll slowly ramp down. The good part is, is that it'll ramp up and down at a totally random time. And it becomes this really nice off and on breeze. I really like this feature. And with this button, this is a feature that no other fan out there will do. If you click it once, it'll oscillate back and forth. If you click it again, it'll oscillate up and down. And if you click it a third time, it'll do a combination of both, which I think is another really cool feature. And now here it is articulating from side to side. And just so you know, it takes about 10 seconds for it to go from one side to the other. I sped the video up a bit so you can see it. Then you push the button again and it will only oscillate up and down. And again, I sped the video up. And when you push the button a third time, it does a combination of both. And as you can see, when it's in this mode, it's a very satisfying fan to watch. And then by using the button, you can stop it wherever you want so you can have the fan directed directly at you or wherever you want. The little remote controller works great. And like I was saying earlier, this fan is extremely quiet. Number six. This is the Bezgar HP161 High Speed Off-Road RC Truck. It's 116 scale, and when they say it's high speed, this thing will go up to 30 kilometers per hour if you want it to, which makes it very fun to drive for any kid or even adults. Has a front headlight. It has four of these little hitch pins that are really easy to take out and take the body off. It comes with a remote control with steering on the side, and the trigger at the front has reverse and forward. And here's the off on switch and you have the choice to put it to 70% or 100%. This is great when you're starting out and you're learning how to drive it. It takes two AA batteries which are not included. It comes with a wheelie bar, comes with two batteries and combined this will give you almost up to 40 minutes of runtime. And last but not least a charge cord and it plugs into any USB port. The body is easy to take off. You just pull out these little pins and pull it off. It's very light and flexible and can take a beating. The suspension in this thing is really wear resistant and can take bumps, drops, flips while you're doing stunts and it can take hard bashing. The battery is really easy to install. You just plug in the battery first, put it into its cradle and latch it down. The bottom is very robust and is built to take a lot of abuse. The components on the front end look well made and even the drive shaft is made out of steel. There is no lack of power and this thing has plenty of beans. It's really fun to drive. Number 5. I found this great little digital thermometer made by Thermpro. The probe tucks nicely into the side and it works just like a switchblade, just by pushing the button on the side. And once the probe is out, it'll work at any angle. It has a plastic loop on the end for hanging. It has two strong magnets on the back so you can place it on your fridge. There's also a button so you can change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. They also have this quick reference chart so that you know what temperature to cook your meat at. It takes one AAA battery and is super easy to change. When you're taking the temperature of meat, you only have to stick in the first inch of the probe up to that slanted part. You just push the button once to turn it on, and it's also backlit. The backlit will turn off after 15 seconds. If you hit the button again, the light will come on for another 15 seconds. And then to shut it off, just hold it down for 2 seconds. Or it will auto shut off after 5 minutes. Like I said before, just put the first inch in and it will read the temperature within 5 seconds. The numbers on the screen are big, and the screen is very clear. Number 4. I'll tell you right off the bat that this DCS391 20 volt max circular saw by DeWalt is fantastic. DeWalt has done a great job of balancing it right where the trigger point is. It will cut wood up to two and a quarter inches thick with the blade fully extended. Adjusting the blade depth is super easy. They have this fast and easy to use lever that moves a quarter of a turn to adjust it easily. 
You can also adjust the angle of the blade at the front with this easy to use thumb screw. And it has the perfect amount of resistance when you move it and it's not all loose and flopping around. Plus they've made it so you can go just beyond 45 to 50 degrees. And if you ever need to replace the blade, the Allen key is built right into the handle. It has an easy to reach blade lock. I really like how ergonomic the safety is to use when you're using the trigger. It's great for righties and for lefties. The electric brake on it is a great safety feature and it stops instantly when you let the trigger go. The knob at the front is great when you're using it or it's good for carrying it around the job site. And depending on which kit you purchase, you can get it with or without the battery. So here it is cutting a two by six and I'm pushing it at normal speed. Number three. This is the Rhine Flip and Slide Mousetrap. A bunch of websites say that this is one of the best traps out there. It has four built-in clips that allow it to attach to any five gallon pail. Here's where the ladder attaches. This is the flip and slide door. It fits where it's supposed to go very easily. The two piece ladder snaps together. And how it works is the mouse goes up the ladder, goes onto the paddle and goes towards the back and slides right into the bucket. And then it automatically resets for the next mouse. So once you've caught two or five or 10 or 20 mice, they're very easy to release. Just remove the flipper and put it on its side. Or you may have chosen to put two inches of water in the bottom. To bait it is quite easy. Just flip it over and put some peanut butter right here and add some sunflower seeds. And with it being at the front of the trap, they can't actually get to it. And you don't usually have to rebait it for a couple of weeks. Number two. Today I'm gonna to show you one of the easiest methods to clean the inside of your windshield. As everyone knows, the inside of your windshield is the hardest part to clean. It's slanted the wrong way for us humans to clean comfortably. It's awkward and you're in all kinds of positions. You're frontwards, backwards, and doing whatever you need to do to get every little streak off the windshield. So let me show you this method that'll take two minutes with no streaks. So this is the best little tool for doing this job right here. These are mostly used in bathrooms to squeegee down the shower, but this is perfect for doing the inside side of a windshield. The squeegee part is nice thick silicone rubber. The handle is nice and firm and it doesn't flex and it's the perfect size for your hand. And one of the reasons that this is so perfect for doing this job is because it's got no metal parts on the edge. You can see on this one that the metal goes right to the edge, which only increases the chances of scratching the dash. With this one it won't scratch and it's nice and flexible. So first of all get yourself about two inches of water and a bucket. I use Dawn dish soap because it seems to be the best for cleaning glass. And put about this much in the water and then give it a swirl to mix it up. And the only other things you'll need is a washcloth and a clean dry rag. And now put your cloth in the water and semi ring it out and then go ahead and wash the inside of your windshield. And now starting from the top just go side to side and squeegee the glass. And after each pass use the clean rag to wipe off the squeegee. And then when you're done, just use the squeegee or the rag and just get all the little bits of excess off the windshield. With this method, it'll leave your windshield crystal clear. Number one. This is the Steely Orbiter phone mount and there's three parts to it. This part is a nice polished steel ball and it fits on your dash and it has very good 3M adhesive on the bottom. This part has a strong magnet on it which allows it to stick to the ball and stay in position. And the last part is a super thin piece of steel which attaches to the back of your phone with that strong 3M adhesive. So this part fits on your dash, the magnet attaches to it, and then it's fully adjustable. And with this on your phone, it then just sticks to the magnet. Now I've attached the plate to my phone. And the amazing part is it stays in position and it comes off with just a light tug. You can adjust it to whatever angle is best. And even when you're going over some serious bumps, it still stays in place. So if you're looking for a phone mount that's super easy to use, this is the one for you. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notifications. And we'll see you next time.